in the less than 24 hours, we have raised over a hundred thousand dollars uh, for the organization. <coughs> but we're, we have vendors, we have nonprofits, we have individuals, but municipal like local municipal officials or governmental employees uh, are are the only people who can be voting members or on the board. We want to keep true to the vision and not skew and go down uh, like a pathway that might do that. So that is why we have chosen to just have uh, elected officials or municipal officials on the uh, on the board. So it is, I'm excited. It's, uh, you know, you can see the dark circles under my eyes uh, because it's it's been a journey to get here, but it, it's this, this idea kind of started out from uh, I co-chair the uh, Fiber Broadband Association's Public Officials Committee, uh, and so we kind of just started listening to that that voice, and uh, kind of we created an organization. And super super excited uh, to announce it yesterday. And uh, there's a video on YouTube and everything that you can really kind of see the story behind it if you choose to go do that. But not right now because we're on this show. So watch it later. So like 10 years ago, Doug was like, we really need something like that. And I was like, yes, we do. And I, I made it my mission to make it happen. And um, well, um, well ten, you ten started it now. Ago, I actually tried it because the city of Lafayette <laughs> said they would take the lead. I contacted every other city. We had several group calls, but there, and there was only maybe 40 or 50 communities that had broadband then. And it just never got off the ground uh, because those cities had it. And, and nobody else who didn't have it seemed to be – the, the world has changed. Now everybody's interested. But we just couldn't get any enthusiasm 10 years ago. I mean, right, they, there was a, there they was did a, try to create it. So, yeah. Well, there's there an incentive gap in that as well. I think those who had it realized that they were going to spend years answering the same questions from the same new folks right. <laughs> over and right. over again. And they didn't have that kind of masochist streak that right. uh, Kim and Bob Knight do. <laughs> Yes. As well as the other founders of. Yeah, of, no, uh, it's, uh, yeah it's really we just really are uh, never want to sleep as uh, as Doug will like say to me. But I think it, there's a voice that hasn't been heard. And if and I know that Doug, you tried to create it and nobody probably could have gotten it off the ground 10 years ago. No. And I think it's a whole new uh, landscape. And if you're going to if you want to change this industry, it has to start with all of us who uh, who know the industry.